We live in a world where we are constantly told to buy more, to be more, to have more. But what if we decide to focus on creating rather than consuming? What would they look like and how would they make us feel? So let's start talking about what I mean creativity versus consumption. When I talk about creativity, I mean expressing yourself, making things, putting your ideas out there, whether it's through art, DIY project, crafting, writing, content creation, anything where you're creating something from within. On the other hand, consumption, it's all about acquiring things, buying, collecting, scrolling, and keeping up with trends. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that consumption is bad. We all consume things and sometimes it's fun and also necessary. But when it becomes the focus of our life, everything can feel empty. When I used to be in sales and so making good money, I used to buy all these things that I thought it would make my life better or would make me happier. So gadget, home decor, clothes, whatever it was. And sure, it felt good for a moment, but eventually the hide faded. And I realized that I was left with things that didn't actually add much value into my life. Then I started focusing on creating things and you can see in my older videos how many things I created. <laughs> and so I will make DIY projects, repurposing things, crafting candles. Honestly, the satisfaction that I had from creating my things, my own things, compared to buying them, like it's not comparable. It wasn't anymore about buying the latest trendy thing. It was about making something from nothing. I really loved the process. So what are the benefits of choosing creativity over consumption? First of all, I believe self-expression. When you're creating something, you put a little bit of yourself out into the world in that project. It's personal, unique, and it feels fulfilling in a way that shopping doesn't do. Creating allows, uh, allows us to connect with ourselves on a deeper level. And that's so powerful. Also, creativity helps us grow. Every time we are trying something new, we are learning. Whether there is a new skill, a new craft, we are challenging ourselves. And even if it doesn't go perfectly, with candle making, for example, it will take you a while to make the perfect candle, <laughs> but that's okay. You can learn a lot from the process. When we create, instead of consuming, we are investing in our growth, instead of filling our homes with more things. And finally, creativity let us be authentic. We are not just following trends or buying the same thing that everybody's buying. We are actually creating something that is true to who we are. And that authenticity feels good. It's real. Now, on the other hand, let's talk about how consumption can hold us back. When we buy and buy things, we may fall into the trap of always needing more things to be to feel happy and satisfied. There is always something new to buy and that short-lived excitement fades fast. And suddenly we are looking for the next thing and the next thing, it's exhausting. It also clutters not just our home, but our minds as well. We end up with so much stuff that can be overwhelming. And that clutter that is left, I feel like it can drain our energy. I found that the more that I consume and the more chaotic that I felt. But when I shifted to creating, I felt a sense of calm and simplicity that I personally couldn't find with shopping. If this idea of choosing creativity over consumption interests you, why don't you give it a go? Here I give you some step on how to start today. Try and do it a no buy month. And if a month feels a little bit too much, maybe start with a week and then Start seeing what creative things you can come up with using what you already have. You might be surprised on how much fun you will have. And if you want some inspiration, look at my older videos. I have hundreds of videos about making creative things on a budget. Start that little project 
that you've been thinking about, whether it's a DIY, painting, journaling, anything that lets you express yourself. Join a creative group or start one with your friends. Sharing ideas and projects can be inspiring and keep you motivated to keep creating. And a great resource that I always use are Facebook groups. You may ask, what happens when you choose creativity over consumption? You create a life that is richer, more authentic, and full of moments that actually mean something to you. You don't need the latest thing or the trendiest item. You just need a little creativity and the willingness to try something new. So what do you guys think? Do you agree that creativity is much better than consumption? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always interested in reading your comments and I respond to each of you. And if you want to learn how to save money with simple swaps at home, watch this video next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Ciao!